ओके वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी एट ना इन लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी एट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थियरम इन जोमेट्री विच इज बेसिक प्रपोर्शनैलिटी थियरम एंड द टूल्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर बेसिक प्रपोर्शनैलिटी थियरम नॉर्मली नोन एज बी पी टी बेसिक प्रपोर्शनैलिटी थियरम द टूल्स रिक्वायर्ड इज बेसिकली द एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल विच वी हैव प्रैक्टिस इन लास्ट फ्यू लेक्चर्स बेसिकली बेसिक प्रपोर्शनैलिटी थियरम से इफ यू हैव अ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी and if you have points m and n such that Points M and N are taken such that if you, if you draw a line parallel through any point M, it intersects AC at N. It intersects AC at N. Line M is parallel to BC. If this happens, then a M upon MB is equal to a N upon NC. Essentially. Segment M N that you take on the two sides of the triangle M point on A B and N point on A C should be such that if it it is parallel to line B C the third side of the triangle then the ratios that they give are equal. So here is the proof. Basically, collinear bases and common vertex is the theme. So that is what we learned in class lecture. So we join B N and C N. and we know if i want to write ratio am upon mb i can write it in terms of the areas of the triangle amn upon mbn area of amn and area of mbn similarly if i want to write ratio an upon is nc <coughs> i can always write it in terms of area Which is a n m upon n c m. Now, eventually, we want to show a m upon n c is equal to a n upon n c, and we have expressed these two ratios in terms of their areas. If the result, final result is true, we need to have the ratio of these two areas equal. However, we observe that the numerators are same. Numerator triangle is basically this triangle. And its area is same. We need to prove that is to prove that to prove that area of MBN equals area of NCM. If we do this, then our basic proportionality theorem is done. Pause the video. Try to do it independently. If you have done it, very good. Now look at the solution. Of course, these two areas are equal because if we consider M as a base. And distance between two parallel lines as height, then M n into h by 2 is the area of this triangle, as well as M n into h by 2 is the area of this triangle, and hence both these areas are equal. Numerators are equal, denominators are equal, therefore ratios are equal, and hence basic proportionality theorem is proved. Now, what would be the next result? Next result is. Suppose converse of basic proportionality. Suppose in a triangle, if point M and point N are such that A M upon M B is equal to A N upon N C, then M N parallel B C. This is converse. Suppose we have these ratios equal, then is the converse true? Now, having proved the original theorem, converse should be doable. Converse requires exactly same techniques that we have used for proving the theorem. So, I will strongly recommend that the converse 
that you have to take that these two are equal. If these two are equal, then you should show that side MN or line MN is parallel to line BC. Proof is absolutely simple, exactly similar to what we have done in original theorem. So try to do your proof. If not done, maybe look at this. It is simple. If M is equal to M, A, M upon M is equal to N upon N C, that means this is equal to this. That means these two ratios are equal. Out of which numerator is equal, therefore denominator must be equal. Therefore, these two must be equal. And they are the areas are bounded between two parallel lines. Of course, they, they, they have the same base. And therefore, if the areas are equal, same base is equal. And therefore, height must be equal. And height of MN from BC, if it is equal, then MN must be parallel. That is how the solution of converse of VPT goals. So these are absolutely important because these theorems will be useful to us to prove similarity and hence one must understand the proof of these two without using similarity it is based on the area. Now once we have these results like AM upon MB is equal to AN upon NC then immediately we can say AM upon AB also equals AN upon AC. Why? Because AM upon AB is equal to AN upon AC because we are considering the total areas, the total base. Or we can algebraically say that if you add 1 to these both these ratios, AM upon MB plus 1 and AN upon NC plus 1, then AM plus MB upon MB, AM plus NC upon NC. So we will get basically AB upon MB. So AB upon MB is also equal to AB upon NC. This is also true. By adding one, you are actually getting that. If you take reciprocal of that, you will get one more ratio. So like that, there are about six different ratios which you can get algebraically. Algebraically by just modifying the original ratio AM upon MB. So let us list them. First ratio is say AM upon MB. Am I visible here? Yes. Suppose AM upon MB. This can produce, of course, MB upon A. This can produce by adding one, we have produced AB upon MB. Reciprocal of this will be MB upon AB. Now, again, I can take first reciprocal and then add one. MB plus AM, numerator will become AB, so AB upon AM, I can produce, similarly I can produce AM upon AB. So whatever operation I am doing in producing these five results out of first, if I correspondingly do the same operations on RHS on AN upon NC, this is equal to AN upon NC, AN upon NC will produce NC upon AN and hence these two will be equal. Then AC upon NB, NC we can produce by adding 1. So this will be equal. Similarly NC upon AC by taking reciprocal these two will be equal. Similarly AC upon AN these two will be equal and similarly AN upon AC these two will be equal. So basically you can get six different ratios equal if MN is parallel to BC and if any one of those six ratios are equal then you can prove MN is parallel to BC. So these are called extensions of basic proportionality theorem uh, the, and the converse of extension of basic proportionality theorem which we can uh, very easily prove. The third result in today's lecture is suppose we have three parallel lines suppose we have three parallel lines L1, L2 and L3 and they are intercepted by two transversals known as M1, M2, M3 n1 n2 n3 
Okay, so we have three parallel lines. They are intersected by two transversals. Then we are supposed to prove m1 m2 upon m2 m3 always equals n1 n2 upon n2. This is what is supposed to be proved. Equal intercept theorem. This is equal intercept theorem. And how do we go about it? Basically, using basic, basic proportionality theorem, we should be able to prove this. Okay. I will request you try to prove this independently. This is easy. There are a couple of ways, more than one ways to do it. Uh, pause the video. Check whether you can do it. Else, look at the solution. The simplest method to do it is just to join diagonal and call, call this point K. So, if we apply DPT to triangle M1, M3, N3, triangle M1, M3, N3 gives M1, M2 upon M2, M3 is equal to M1, K upon K, M3. If we apply extension of basic proportionality theorem to M1, N1 and N3, Basically, we get, let me start with M1K upon KN3 will give me N1N2 upon N2N3. Now, you will observe that this ratio I have maintained here and correspondingly wrote this ratio. So, I am actually using converse of, uh, no, I am extension, I am using extension of BPT to uh, write uh, this particular two ratios. And this is BPT, but these two these two ratios are equal, therefore these two ratios are equal. That is what is the simplest proof. There could be a couple of more by extending these lines and creating one more triangle, or maybe by counting areas, subtracting areas, we can get a few more proofs. You try your best to prove this. Uh, we have eight more problems, some more problems. Uh, I can see some of them are on basic proportionality theorem. Try to do your best to solve those problems. See you in lecture number 39. Thank you.